even if I'm having a conversation with my fiance. Tonight we got a little bit of heavy hearts because we lost one of our family members yesterday. Nick Carter plans a fundraiser for children's mental health after his brother Aaron died too soon at the age of 34. Aaron's siblings, Nick and Angel Carter, are working to improve the mental health of children more than a week after Aaron's untimely death at the age of 34. Aaron used to be a child star, but his adult life has been spent dealing with schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and manic depression. Instead of sending flowers, Aaron's family has asked that donations be made to On Our Sleeves, the movement for children's mental health. What were Carter's worst childhood traumas? What was the main motivation behind Aaron's uncontrollable lifestyle? Want more of the juiciest rumors about Aaron? For all types of celebrity news and pop culture, hit that subscribe button, like the video. For all types of celebrity news and pop culture, hit that subscribe button, like the video, and turn on notifications for. Notifications for celebrity pop. A representative for Nick Carter of the Backstreet Boys said, Instead of sending flowers, fans who want to honor Aaron Carter's life can make a donation to On Our Sleeves through a donation page. Carter has been an ambassador for On Our Sleeves, the movement for children's mental health, and a supporter of the group for a long time. Our goal in making On Our Sleeves is to give all families and advocates in the United States the free, evidence-based educational materials they need to help get rid of the stigma surrounding children's mental health. Nine days after Aaron Carter died at the age of 34, his siblings, Nick and Angel Carter, started a nonprofit group to help children's minds grow in a healthy way. Gifts from the public pay for educational materials and events at colleges and universities and at nonprofits. In the wake of Aaron's death, a meaningful way to comfort Nick, Angel, and their family is to do acts of service in Aaron's memory and in honor of his life. Nick cried during a Backstreet Boys show in London because he'd just lost his younger brother. People said that Aaron's untimely death was caused by his girlfriend's tense relationship. Nick wrote on Instagram the day after Aaron's death, My heart has been broken today. My brother and I have had our fair share of fights over the years, but that has never changed how much I love him, no matter what. I had hoped for as long as I could remember that he would realize he was sick and get help. Nick's commentary went on as he talked about how he felt after Aaron's tragic death. He also talked about his younger brother's long fight with addiction. Based on what he found in his reflections, when things are hard, it's easy to blame outside forces, but addiction and mental illness are the real threats here. No one but my brother and I will ever understand how much we'll miss each other. Like Britney Spears, Aaron has said that Nick is trying to put him under the care of a guardian. Nick has a court order to keep Aaron away from his pregnant wife and their unborn child because Aaron threatened them in 2019. We did what we thought was necessary to protect our loved ones, which included Nick and Angel getting a restraining order against their brother Aaron, which they now deeply regret. His brother also said that he hoped Aaron would get the right care he needs before he or anyone else gets hurt. Aaron's sister Angel Conrad also wrote an emotional post about him on Instagram. What she said was, The pain of loving you so much that there's no way out. Everyone here agrees that everyone will miss you very much. I'll never forget the good times I had with Aaron. Even so, I do think you've found some peace and quiet. Know that I shall carry you in my heart till my last breath, and then again when we meet again in the hereafter. Aaron had wanted to be in the entertainment business since he was young. He started out as a singer and then became an actor in movies and TV shows like Lizzie McGuire and Seventh Heaven. Aaron was supposedly found dead in his bathtub at the family's home in Lancaster, California on November 5th. At about 11 a.m., someone called 911 and said someone drowned in the tub. The caretaker of the house is said to have found the dead man's body and called the police right away. The people who looked into the murder didn't find any evidence of wrongdoing. Carter's first album, called Carter, came out in 1997 when he was only nine years old. He went on tour with the Backstreet Boys. In the 1990s, three more of his albums came out. CNN reported that Aaron said on the 2019 episode of The Doctors that he had a number of mental health problems, including multiple personality disorder, schizophrenia, severe anxiety, and manic depression. The singer's first album was also put out by Nick's record company, Jive Records. After his second studio album did well in 2000, he made a music video for the song That's How I Beat Shaq in which he raps about his fight with NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal. 
Many of the songs on the album were played on the radio all the time, and in the end, it was certified triple platinum. Even though his 2001 album, Oh Aaron, which sold over a million copies in the US alone was a success, the singer never became as famous as his brother's band. Since 2002, he hadn't put out a new studio album of his own music. Carter tried acting on a few Disney Channel shows, just like a lot of other teen pop stars. Along with his failing fame as a musician, he would eventually only have small parts in movies like Fat Albert and Ella Enchanted. There was a piece about him on E!, along with his brother and his three siblings, again at the Carter's home in 2006. One thing I will always remember and take from this competition is definitely the lessons that I've learned and I've grown so much. In 2009, Aaron got back into the spotlight when he finished sixth on the ninth season of Dancing with the Stars. In 2011, the once famous teenager was getting help at the Betty Ford Center in California for substance addiction. At the end of the year, he played his first role in a musical. Fox News says that in 2008, Aaron was pulled over in Texas for going too fast. During a check of his car by the police, they found marijuana. After being arrested for DUI in 2017, he was charged with dangerous driving in 2021. The guy's love life was complicated and full of twists and turns. He broke up with Carrie Ann Panish, who used to be a model for Playboy. About a year ago, Lena Valentina, his ex-girlfriend, couldn't hurt him because he had filed a police report saying she had threatened to stab him. Melanie Martin was arrested for domestic violence while Carter was still alive. The alleged victim was Carter. Aaron tried to make a comeback many times in the second half of the 2010s. In 2018, he put out an album and a few singles under the name Kid Carter. In 2021, Aaron was competing with celebrities like Lamar Odom on the content site OnlyFans, where he charged up to $100 per post. In the second round, he was knocked out, ending the fight. In the fall of that year, he refused to get the vaccine, so he wasn't chosen for the Las Vegas production of Naked Boy Singing. According to TMZ, he had a rough year with his family. At one point, he even said that his brother Nick wanted to put him under the care of a guardian. Melanie Martin, the woman he used to date, gave birth to Prince 11 months ago. Recent news said that Aaron died suddenly and sadly he didn't have a will. Martin and Aaron broke up a week after their first child was born. In memory of their late brother Aaron, Nick and Angel Carter will put on a show for the Children's Mental Health Association. Nick's agent said that TMZ readers could donate to a fund set up by Nick and Angel in Aaron's name instead of sending flowers. The money would go to a group that helps kids with mental health issues. From what we know, Nick has worked with and is an ambassador for On Our Sleeves, the movement for children's mental health, which will receive the money raised at this event. On Our Sleeves' goal is to give accurate data and information about children's mental health to parents, teachers, and policymakers across the country. The money will likely be used to pay for teaching materials and student field trips. Nick's team said that the goal of this memorial is to support Nick, Angel, and their family's dedication to helping others. Nick Carter was on tour with the Backstreet Boys when his brother Aaron died. He was glad to be home with his three children. That's why it's so important that your home makes you happy. Nick Carter was able to spend quality time with his family after the European leg of the Backstreet Boys tour was over. The I Want It That Way singer posted a picture of himself, his wife, and his three kids on Instagram on November 13th. Carter put on his baseball cap before going to bed at night, happy to know that his wife, Lauren Kitt, loved their three kids very much. When he was done, the Floridian gave Pearl a kiss on the head. Nick and his boy band played in London the day after Aaron's funeral, while Aaron's family, including his twin sister and OnlyFans founder Angel Carter, now 30, grieved back in the United States. Nick, Howie Duro, Brian Littrell, and AJ McLean, and Kevin Richardson paid moving tributes to the late musicians during their sets. At the end of the show, Richardson, who's now 51 years old, was eager to play No Place again because the song is important to him personally and for his family. Some of us have known each other since we were very young, and we all went to the same elementary and high schools. When things were hard, we were there for each other. Since you were there and heard it from us, you can say you know from first-hand experience. We will always be grateful to you for letting us come along on this trip. The Backstreet Boys can't say enough about their gratitude for your support over 30 years. We're grateful that your love for us will never end. Will we know the truth about Aaron Carter's close family and friends? Did he live and spend his life in a toxic environment? Let us know what you think in the comments.